and here are the BDU pants in the three color desert pattern. We'll start again with basic features. We're going to go with a uh, beginning right here at the top with again an exposed top button and the four buttons with a protected or a closed storm flap covering the buttons. Button and eyelet closure, very typical for the BDU cut. We'll then go on to the top here. There's seven of these belt loops, which are big enough for a, a typical belt. Um, they're very well stitched again, very heartily bar tacked, which is always good. Um, on each side, there are these waist adjustments to let them out or cinch them in a little bit depending on the wearer's uh, waist size and one more thing on the belt loops is there's actually three at the very back to provide a little bit more support when uh, leaning over or something like that which is uh, an interesting and a good addition to the cut itself we'll then go down to the waist or the the ankle uh, which has these two woven nylon um, pieces here, which are part of a drawstring, so you can cinch close the ankle um, depending on how loose or tight you need them to be. I think that's a good idea. Um, it's much better than the fixed button and eyelet closure. But when these get wet, they tend to slip a little bit. Um, so that is something that I believe they've tried to fix with uh, more recent uniforms also and again it's a little hard to see but you've got this uh, reinforcing patch of material here on the knees again for durability and you also have a reinforced seat with extra material again it's hard to see but it's just more material to, to make sure that uh there's no blowout in in the pants um, or you know making it harder to rip as well moving from there we've got these what I refer to as buried wallet pockets single button here and here button and eyelet closure as typical with the rest of the uniform and I call these buried because they're actually a slit in the uniform and then there's an extra piece of material that's sewn in as opposed to a pocket being sewn on like with the chest pockets interestingly as well the u.s makes this with camouflage material other places will use a lighter grade of material sometimes on their inner pockets um on the side we'll just turn this over again we've got very large um, cargo pockets and my ever-present difficulty getting these to lay flat but we'll put a quarter on again you can see they're, they're very large they are um, flat stitched up here in the front and on the bottom but then they're bellowed on the side to allow for some expansion and then there's bellows here and here to also allow for some expansion interesting also is covered uh, button and eyelet closure but the front flap or the front edge of the flap is stitched down whereas the back is free um, I'm not sure why they did that I guess it would make at least a little bit more sense to me to do it the other way just so you could get in a little easier but not lose stuff out the back I'm sure there was a reason for this, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Um, the, the cargo pockets are also interesting in that they're a little hard to get into. You kind of got to bend down a little bit or lift your leg up to get into them sometimes. Um, if anybody has seen my other review of the San Marco Italian camouflage, I much prefer their placement of the cargo pocket a little bit higher. It's a lot easier to get into. Um, other than that... There's also these front slash pockets for 
maps, I guess. I have never really found a satisfactory use for these myself, but um, they're here. Again, they've got the same camouflage material as the rest of the uniform. Um, and that is pretty much it about the BDU cut a uniform. Um, at some point, I'll try and get an ACU review up. If and when I can find a full ACU uniform that I'm willing to buy. Um, the nice thing about the BDU cut is it's a proven pattern. They're well made. The uniforms are durable. They're cheap. But with a lot of guys, especially in Airsoft and certainly in the real world as well, they don't work as well because of the introduction of tactical vests. It's very hard to get into the chest pockets. The pants pockets a lot of times are covered by drop legs or things like that. And the, the introduction of arm pockets has made things a lot easier when wearing that type of equipment. If you do in fact need to, to store anything in pockets on your uniform. And uh, you know, putting a uh, map or something in there, what have you is uh, sometimes a necessity. You don't want to put on your tack vest for whatever reason. And in, in that sense, the BDU cut does fall a little bit short. The use of buttons also can be tough at times. Just trying to actuate them and get them open with one hand while keeping a hand on your weapon or, or you know horsing around with something else. But they are quieter. They're a heck of a lot quieter in Velcro. And there has been sort of a... a returned to the button and eyelet closure in some uniforms um, a lot of private companies have been been making uniforms with buttons or giving users the option of getting the uniform with buttons as opposed to the velcro because a lot of guys don't like the noise that it makes but that is the basics of the bdu cut and the three color desert pattern until next time Keep safe, and I'll talk to you uh, for another review soon, hopefully.